Hanma Baki vs Kenbin Ashura crossover is finally out and in today's video let's talk about the biggest robbery in the martial arts anime world. In the second fight of the crossover Jack Hanma faced Kure Ryan, great opponent's choice, much better than Hanayama vs Sav Pain. But there is some stupid stuff that happened in this fight. Their match was second the month 3 in a small fun tournament made by Tokugawa and Metsudo. In the first fight Hanayama fought Sav Pain and Baki side won and as we already know that Baki will face Oma in the third match. In a rule that was obvious to me from the very beginning, at the time when I saw a trailer and uh, find out that it will be a three match episode, it was obvious that Hanayama would win and Baki against Oma should be a draw as uh, they are the main characters of their respective universes. So using some hard math calculations, I knew the outcome of the fights before even watching an episode. Jack should lose to Ryan. But the way the authors did it to poor Jackie boy is truly ridiculous. First of all, what is this stupid blue filter they used exclusively in their fight? Other fights had normal color. The temperature goes down to minus in the arena cause these two are cool dudes or what? Looks stupid to me, as uh, the previous fight was normal and also the next fight after Jack vs Ryan had normal colors. But this is nothing compared to what happened next in the fight. The fight starts with Ryan out punching freaking Jack Hanma, a monster in a punch to punch fight, a guy who can't be out punched. But then Jack remembered who he is and finally showed Ryan his real strength easily dominating small bug, forcing Kure to use removal to match the pure power Jack possess. And then another stupid thing happened. Jack saved some drugs in his mouth before the fight and ate them after Ryan's transformation. Ok, now he should get an ultimate boost of strength, right? No, he was thrown through the whole arena with one punch, was lifted by one hand into the air, almost choked to death and stomped to the ground like a typical punching back character. And now is the time for the most retarded scene ever. Let me explain. Ryan used his ultimate technique removal, basically his signature technique, which could be his R button if we play the Dota 2 using him as a hero. What is Jack's signature technique? A technique which also boosts him a lot, just like Ryan's did. It could be demon back, like in Bucky's case against Oma's advance, but he still doesn't possess such a luxury skill. It could be Godo, but he also does not achieve it yet at that particular moment, as he was taken from the timeline of the aftermath of his uh, fight against Pickle. The authors think a bit and remember the only time Jack had a big boost during a fight, a fight against Bucky at the maximum tournament. But how does he get it? Uh, he ate tons of steroids before every his fight at the tournament and then ate even more before the final fight against Bucky. Eventually Jack's body started to deform due to many drugs he took. But why does that happen? Cause he almost died and his body rejected the side effect of drugs to consume them freely. Now he is able to consume them freely. And if he can consume drugs freely now, why the heck did he throw up them now? To get skinnier than small Ryan? I think it was done only because one thing. Jack still does not have his ultimate move and Ryan did. So for the purpose of the fight being more interesting, two transformation better than one transformation, Jack had to use something and this something was throwing up drugs for no reason. As he already cured from the side effect and is able to use as much drugs as he wants to. I think it would be better if Jack just ate more and more steroids during the fight, boosting his strength to match Ryan's. It would have much more sense in my opinion. But what Next, two transformed creatures fought equally until Jack used his real signature move, biting Ryan's shoulder and throwing him away like a dog toy. But Ryan is just as crazy as Jack and he does not care about the damage his body has taken and with the half of his body being eaten, he somehow dominates Jack in a punch fight. And then the biggest robbery happened. Jack jumped to bite another half of Ryan's body, the first half of Ryan's body was already gone, but was caught in a chokehold and passed out for a moment. 
He almost immediately stood up and kept on firing like nothing had happened, but two stupid bars were for some reason scared and declared Ryan the winner. Like what the hell was that stoppage? When Jack fought Bucky and both of them were KO'd hundreds of times, no one cared and the fight went on, just like in Kangan. Ryan was KO'd a bunch of times, but the fight was not stopped. And even in this fight, both of the guys were knocked out for a bit a bunch of times, but when Jack, who looked much healthier than Ryan, at least his body parts were not meeting, was out for a few seconds, they stopped the fight and declared Kure the winner. What a robbery, the fight could go on and on, I think Jack would be able to sustain all the damage and bite Ryan to death. Maybe not to death, but uh, he definitely could be out due to blood loss sometime later. But dudes does not care about any fucking stoppage and keeps on fighting until Pickle appears out of nowhere to save his prey, which is Jack. But right before the epic three-way battle began, Bucky and Oma came. Bucky knocked out Ryan and Oma knocked out Pickle, which is funny, how the hell Oma was able to knock Pickle out. Then Retsu and Katsumi stopped Ryan from attacking again, and Bucky calmed down Jack. Luckily Jack was over it and showed that he does not care about uh, the idiots about who decides who won. If I don't get to decide the outcome, that's fine by me. Ryan remained Ryan. How dare you intrude on our fight, Bucky Hanma! I'm gonna kill you for this, you jerk! You can be sure of that! Sounds good. Pickle was sent home by Oma. If you're not involved, then you should really leave. You understand what I'm saying? That's good. So the only reason for this stupid stoppage was to take the overall count of Bucky vs Kengan fights to a draw. As Hanayama won, Jack should lose, and Bucky vs Oma should be a draw. There is no way that one of them will win, as they are the main characters. I am pretty sure that if it was a collaboration between One Piece and Naruto, there would be a draw in a fight between Luffy and Naruto. But I still think that Jack and Ryan also deserves a draw in this fight, even though Jack was a bit nerfed and Ryan does not use any techniques that he has in his arsenal. If you want to see the stats of Jack and Ryan, a video where I compare them in strength, speed and more is on my channel, you can check it out. What do you think of this fight? Are you happy about the outcome? I think you're not. Leave your comments down below, leave a like if this video was interesting to you, subscribe for more videos like that, thank you all for watching, see you in the next video and for today I'm out. Bye! Look like from corruption, they're not benefit.